What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm. The beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face what lurks within. When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. Hang in there. Hurry up, Alex. Okay. We got company. Move. Move. Oh, you're awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? I'm Wallace. I, I wanted to see you. I asked... Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's... Was... Never mind. The Commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. Well, well. Look who's awake. I figured you for dead. Riggs and I barely pulled you out of that mess. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or... Hmm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time, but you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But, now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what, you wanna leave? You'll have to do something for us first. First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. <laughs> Nothing around here is easy. Watch your back. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, 
Welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Riggler. <laughs> but most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your, uh, sword mm. was pretty banged up in the fight. Mm, not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. Think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. What? Where the hell did you come from? You nearly scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill? You? Is that right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. I got you! Do it. You fought good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. Uh, sure it's good to have some light around here. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? That's the spirit. Uh, here, I want you to have this. Not many people can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, <laughs> Commander Ford. She knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of Ward 13. She'll get you on your path. Glad to see you got the reactor running. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. I suppose. His notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city, as a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. What? I know what you want. Commander already came by. 
Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. All right then. Let's see what we're dealing with here. From the look of that rifle, you're not getting close to the action. This'll keep those weeds in your sights. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Yeah, yeah. All right, hey, now that's better. <clears throat> oh, and uh, take this. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. It's true. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. I bet Ford will see you fit to leave now. Here's hoping there's not an army of Deadwood waiting for you out there. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the Founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. Oh. Uh, don't thank me just yet. Might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there searching. One day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. Oh, another seeks the Roots Council. Closer, child. It's you, the one who washed ashore. We see all things. We are the Root Mother, a vessel of wisdom through which the Root speaks. What is it you seek? The stone, the shield, the cloak, 
that conceals the inevitable end. Has the hour come? Yes. Clearer it becomes. You seek to end the route, but the path is hidden. This vessel knows the road you seek. Help we must, but not where ears can hear. They will come for us when bonds we break. Will you protect? Will you trust? Prepare yourself. They are coming. Thank you, child. I have learned much from the root. I will aid you. We will fight it together. First, I must rest. Look there, the wall. There is a path beyond. Find the path. Then seek me out among your... our kind. In the place you call the ward. I know the way. We shall meet again. Well... Look at these sets. You're in the Mud Dog's house, eh? Ain't no one come through without paying a price. <laughs> it ain't about scrap. It's about strength. Ah, it's been a long time since we had a good fight. What say these goons put on a show, eh, boys? Whichever one of y'all lives, well, they get to live. Can't ask for a better deal than the fight starts now. Don't. That's the way. I knew you had it in ya. You done good, Mutter. We all in a doggy dog world. And you showed us you can chew. Name's Brabus. Glad to know ya. Here! Maybe this'll help you live a mite longer. I hear you. Can you hear me? You here to commune with the root? Come on then, listen. Anywhere you look, humans kill each other. Feed off each other like dogs. We're lost, stranger. The root came to save us from ourselves. The path is narrow. Most will die. But those predestined will live forever in the Root's embrace, like the Root Mother. It is. I saw this place in visions. The Root, calling to me. We had our chance, stranger. Thousands of years on this world, and what did we do? Just devised fancier ways to murder. It's the Root's turn now. They'll clean this world of our filth and take the worthy with them into the future. You doubt me? I see it. Here, take this. See what the root offers to those who serve its cause. of success negligible. The guardians are destroyed. The devourer lurks unchecked. The labyrinth erodes daily. 
and I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and see. The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. Hmm. Yes, there is time. It is the seat of the worlds, built upon the core, and all worlds are built upon it. The labyrinth contains all doors that ever were, are, or may be. Some are lost, some destroyed, but all are contained within. An agent of the root, whether witting or unwitting, is unknown and irrelevant. The Devourer was the one who erased even the Labyrinth's guarding, leaving only myself to hold back on ending rot. Unfortunately, my battle cannot be won with time. The Root threatens every world, so every world is given a protector. Guardians are not easily killed. When one dies, however, the Root can claim that world and grow stronger. The loss of several guardians made way for the Devourer. The Devourer has made the root very strong indeed. I am the Keeper. I will be the last to fall. This place is both like the worlds and unlike them. It is the core, inviolable, and without need of a guardian. I have neither knowledge nor resources to devote to the question. The route could not have come without invitation. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. That traveler, you have seen the skein of worlds. You have walked the labyrinth. And you pursue the road. Walk the world's wanderer. He waits, but he doesn't. Ask. I have lost much since the war began, but I have gained much in return. Cessation, the harbinger of silence. The root seeks serenity. Among ashes, either they fail, or we will. A gatekeeper, a protector, one and the same. The root stakes a claim that must not be. The keeper alone stems the flood. But for how long? <laughs> what makes a god? Power is relative, worship fickle, creation is common, precious. You can believe the Keeper trades no stock in godhood, bound only by timeless duty. A choice I made long ago. I thought it would turn the tide. But tides cannot be turned by thought alone. Desperation made me, child. It will make you as well. Dreams only, faded and tattered. The founder, Andrew and I, were together before the root. Now the memory wanes. I bear its burden no longer. Very well. I did not expect... You? You are not he. Yet you have opened the gates. 
A second Nui? It must be. Forgive my confusion, unheralded one. Your sublime feet honor the sands of the eastern wind, itinerant one. Whatever your purpose, we are blessed by your presence. Surely there are none like you, inimitable one. At least I have never seen your like. I know none of that name or description. There is one who might know, but uh, he is not one to give information willingly. Except, perhaps, to another Nui. Yes, yes. Perhaps you are the one after all. You seek Aslan, the Undying King. But I warn you, challenging him will not be easy. Take caution. He rules from the Citadel, in the canyons beyond the Black Sun Gate. The gate has been sealed since time forgotten. Oh, but no doubt you will find a way, Dynamic One. Like all Akari, I am only eager to see the Guardian restored and the planet reborn. Oh, discerning one, it is my joy then, my great honor, to help you find the Nui who was alive when said Guardian fell. None. Only one has there ever been since the days of the Guardian. Your arrival is... unprecedented. Portentous. Go well, Enlightened One.
have come a long, difficult way, if the whispers are true. So, traveler, what do you believe brings you here? Hmm. I have heard of that one, though he never sought an audience with me. A pity, really. He wasted his time with the foolish Akari when he could have learned from I who have witnessed centuries. For example, I know exactly what you seek. Child, I have spent an age and an age meditating on the true nature of things. I have seen the patterns, the motifs in the symphony of the world. Your home has been overrun by the Guari. The root, you call them. We hold that in common. They are the only true enemy. You require salvation, and I have the key. This key will not take you where you want, rather, where you must go. It knows your salvation even better than you. Ah, you are wiser than you look. I should warn you, the key is not safe. It has led many to untimely ends. Regardless, I offer an exchange. A favor in good faith. There is a world, vibrant, primordial, untouched by the Guare, yet infested by corrupted cattle. These inhabitants revere above all else a particular beast. Bring me the beast's heart. And so, wisdom prevails. Sported with conviction, child. It is the only true weapon you wield. Greetings, outsider. You are not of this place. Tell us, where do you hail from? A wide traveler, then. Strong, too, by your looks. The Iskar welcomes you, outsider. Both your presence and your strength, should the latter be available. Our world courses harbors a beast of great power. A god. We desire its heart. I don't doubt it, outsider. But can any offer what we will give? The Iskal is lush and wealthy. None can match our price. What say you? Mm. We knew our eyes did not deceive us. You can ask us anything. The Iskar binds us all. Those who partake are one in heart, mind, and spirit. We have no need for crude technology. 
The Iskal brings enlightenment and harmony. We are emboldened by our shared purpose, and all are welcome in the Iskal. May the Iskal watch over you. Iskal saw it all. The Guardian is dead. Will you give us its heart? We... Yes. Yes. Thank you, Outsider. You are forever in our heart. And here, as promised, is your reward. What intrigues you? Have you the heart? How terribly uninteresting. For your sake, I will assume you still intend to retrieve it. Arrogant child, you shall see why they call me undying. Attend to me, Veer! There is an intruder in our midst! <laughs> Yeah. 
Speak, outsider. Who is it you serve? <laughs> I suspect that is true. I know your kind. You are Poxeltech. Outsider. Hmm. Little of both. For now, good. The Paxeltech Ford aided our cause. It is for him I speak to you about. But Ford is gone now. They question him to find us. Your sympathy is welcome. A queen keeps him in her ziggurat. Ziggurat is easy to find. Ford... is not. This one is Navun, once a sentry of the Empress herself. Now, leader of those who resist the nobility. In truth, it is immortals we fight, the progenitors of the noble lines. The nobles themselves are deceived. The Empress gives them long life to serve her. To serve her, the nobles oppress the Pan. These slaves, the Kolket, are the true victims. They are raised believing they serve immortals, that their place is preordained. But immortality is a lie. The tree that gives the rulers life is dead. For many turns, one of your centuries, perhaps, nobles trapped his men in a cave, slaughtered everyone. At least this is what we thought. I found Ford far from the cave, wounded, near death. I healed him, helped him return home. I wish I could help him now, but too much is at stake. It is me they want. Ford understands this. Yes. He returned many times, gave us aid, weapons, strategies, knowledge from his world. He said his uh, America was familiar with rebellion. The last time he came was 20 turns ago. He said he would stay, live with us, <laughs> even fight alongside us. I was glad. Very glad, but nobles knew. <clears throat> Ambushed him, took him. He does not return. I was a sentry of the Empress and shared in the fruit of life. I have lived hundreds of your years. It is many turns since I ate the fruit, yet even now I age only slowly. That is a long story. Do you really want to hear it? For ages upon ages, the Empress controls the nobility by controlling the Thean, the Tree of Life. Fruit of the Thean makes them immortal. But the tree is long dead, a secret known only to the Empress's house. The nobles suspect, but so long as they receive fruit, preserved in the Empress's storehouse, they do not question. I knew this, despised this, yet I continued to serve. Immortality is a seductive master. A noble thought. Difficult when faced with reality. Supplies dwindled. Nobles grumbled, quibbling over a lie. While remote villages suffered. I saw their suffering. I did nothing. Finally, to appease the nobles, the Empress accused the village Zoka of stealing. I was among those sent to... Execute them. The villagers were innocent. Families. Shh. 
children. I turned on my Empress that day. I fight her ever since. I wish you well, Boxeltech. How the hell did you get here? This world, I mean. Huh. That means the ward's in trouble. Ellen's too damn smart to activate that thing otherwise. But what do you need me for? Rusted place? You mean Ward 17? 
Why in God's name would you? Oh, holy hell. Clawbone's the source. Harsgard's dreamer was the gate. My, my life's work. Fair warning. You're walking a pretty dangerous road. But maybe, just, 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 just maybe, you'll succeed where I fail. How can I help? Yeah, I know how to get in. There's a mirror in Ward 13. Not where the survivors live. In the lower floors. Locked away. That mirror is like a door to the other wards. Here. This key will let you unlock the computer connected to the mirror. Ah, oh, right, of course. You've been to my office, yes? There's a key card to the ward on my workbench. That's it. Using it will get you into Ward 13. Just head to the lowest level of the base and use it on the locked door. Sure, but don't waste time. The root aren't waiting around for you. Hell if I know. The root's been there since the beginning. And if the dragon, or whatever is in there now, is their master, bring everything you got. Don't take anything for granted. <sighs> look at me. Do I look like I still got any fight left in me? I wish I could. But those days are long gone. You're the last hope now. I regret giving up. The answer was right under my nose, if only I hadn't stopped looking. But it cost me a lot to get this far. I sacrificed everything. Everyone I knew and loved. I'd had enough. Oh, I don't mean it's not worth a shot, especially <laughs> if you've got nothing left to lose. Just do yourself a favor, huh? Accept the price you paid to get there. It'll help you when it's over. Good luck. You'll need it. Once again, the children of the core think to change the inevitable. They do not see the truth, the futility of their actions. We bring purity to chaos, serenity to bedlam. All will be consumed. This is necessary and good. The children do not understand. The children believe their lives worth living. The children are wrong. The worlds and the core of the worlds live in pain, agony, discord. We bring peace, equality, silence. All are one within our embrace. The children resist what cannot be resisted. They fight a battle that cannot be won. Their actions are ultimately irrelevant. 
No matter how many times they rise, they will be destroyed. We will consume 